Hey guys, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and today we're going to take a look at DeWalt's new 20 volt XR brushless 8 inch pole saw. This is model number DCPS620. We got it in a kit, so that kit ends in M1, which comes with one 20 volt 4 amp hour battery. Yeah, that's a little disappointment. Uh, DeWalt says this is going to cut 96 cuts through a dry 4x4. No one's going to use this pole saw. Well, most people aren't going to use this pole saw for cutting dry 4x4s. With that said, I'm just surprised that we didn't get a 5 amp hour battery with it. Uh, it seems like the 4s are so many years old, but I'll tell you the battery life is excellent going out trimming trees. Uh, this is meant for someone who's going to have a, a hurricane go through, they're going to have a storm, or they're going to have a lot of brush, or they're going to want to put this in their home and just clean up trees as they go. It's nice and compact, easy to store, but it's also going to be for the guys in the job site that need to go through, trim things up before they actually construct something, and that's going to be the small guys. Obviously, you larger guys out there are going to just take a bulldozer, excavator, pull trees, you don't really give a crap about this stuff, but if you need to make a little room, hunting shack, getting things through the woods, this works excellent. So let's go through some of the things I like and I don't like about this. And first, it is three pieces, 10 feet long. This is the centerpiece. I absolutely like how it comes apart. It's easy to take apart, it's easy to store. There are two arrows that point together. You simply slide them over each other, screw that down. It screws down nice and tight. It's easy, it's fast, it goes, up. I mean, it's just, it's right. They didn't make it complicated and they made it sturdy. To store this, simple. Just throw it anywhere you want. If you don't need this centerpiece, the motor is actually in the head of this. So all this does is connect up four wires that go up to the motor. So you can leave that middle piece out for easier cutting. Uh, this unit weighs a little over eight pounds. When you're carrying it around, uh, the center of balance is a little bit forward. So when you're using it, it feels like a lot more than eight pounds. I mean, you have 10 foot of pole out there. So if you're just doing something small and easy, it's nice to drop the center section out. Very, very nice when cutting trees. You have some metal bucking spikes up in front that also double as a limb hook. So you can pull things around. And yes, this is sturdy enough to actually get behind it and give it some pulls. The eight inch bar can be switched out to a 10 inch bar if you'd like. It has plenty of power. Being a brushless motor, there are very few times where you'll go to start this if it is laying on a branch and it won't start. Brushless motors like to not have any torque applied to them when starting. So once in a great while, that'll happen. You just lift it and then pull the trigger again and everything's going to start going. I found it to happen on the very, very small limbs, not the larger ones. So just the opposite of what you would think. You do have an automatic oiler here and you fill this container up. You can see through it so you can see how much oil you have in there. Unfortunately, you can't see the center section of it, which would be where you would want to see how much oil you have. Tip, if you're gonna keep this and store it, store it with some rags underneath it or just pour out the oil. Over a weekend's time, you'll start to get a small puddle underneath. Seems to happen with the DeWalt chainsaws too, is what it is. Uh, in this uh, system, it's not an automatic bar adjustment, similar to what an old school chainsaw would be. Two bolts here, you can remove the cap, get at the chain, clean everything out on the inside. Um, there is a tension bolt that is right in front of the saw blade. The tool that comes with it is like an Allen wrench. It's a little difficult to get in there because you have to turn everything on an angle. Get out a normal screwdriver, it'll make life a lot easier. You can adjust the chain, you can remove the chain, you can put the different bar on, all there, all very simple. One thing that stood out on this that I said, Ugh, I don't like, and it's a simple fix, it's the safety on the trigger. When you're using this, you seem to always want to slide your hand backwards and down. And I get it about 50% of the time where it will actually release the safety. 
Most of the time while I was using it, I had to physically manipulate the safety with a different finger and then push the safety trigger down, put my hand over it, and then cut. I get it, you have to have a safety. There are some people out there that need the safety, but at the same time, it's a little bit too difficult. And I think if you either trim that safety down physically with a Dremel or a little saw, or you just simply tape it back so that you have to pull that top trigger and the bottom trigger at the same time, I think that would be plenty enough of safety. So you can push, punch a little uh, roll pin out, that safety's out, and there's a lot of different ways you could go at it. Do it if you need to. If you think you need the safety, definitely keep it. I understand where some people are at, but that was one of my complaints because I would get in the right position to go and safety was stuck. Couldn't jiggle your hand to get it out. Finally, it would go and you're set. That was a little annoying. You do have some rubber grips here, which are nice when you have this thing fully extended. All this stuff is is wire. This is a very light piece. Very, very, very light piece. There's not much to it, and that's nice. And the center section, again, just a simple piece of aluminum with four wires in between. Here's your weight. This is where 90% of that eight pounds is, and that's good. You can see the motor does have some vents around it. Well constructed, perfect for storing it. Does come with a blade or chain cover. Chain cover has the tool in it so you're probably not gonna lose it while you're out in the field. I like a dedicated pull saw for one reason. It's not used that often, so when I add oil to it, I can drain oil out. I don't have to rely on another tool that I have that has a little bit more of an awkward setup to it. Like if I'm using a string trimmer and then putting a pole saw on the end, it works. It's just not as comfortable and the angles aren't right and set up as well as this one is. So the dedication of pole saw when needed is nice. You, obviously, if you have to be in the DeWalt battery platform to say, hey, I'm gonna dive into this. And if you are in the DeWalt battery platform, I don't know if they sell this as a bare tool yet, but you might wanna just jump into the bare tool unless the pricing on this M1 with the four amp hour batteries there, because most of us want the new six amp hour battery or we're going with a flex volt battery, which this will take them all. Will it increase power? I, you know, I tried just to guess at it by putting something in here and trying it on a piece of larger wood that I had, maybe. It's just, the tool is not set up with the low kickback chain to just sit and dive in and rip through everything. So trying to figure out if the different battery works as far as more power was difficult. I'm sure you're gonna get runtime. I can tell you putting a flexible 12 amp hour battery on the back of this definitely makes it heavier, but evens out and balances it a little more. So that is a big plus, especially when you have this in the 10 foot configuration. Guys, again, I like this situation, you may not. Please tell me in the description or comments below what you think about having a dedicated pole saw. I'm sure if you live in a high storm area where you're doing something once or twice a year, or if you're a hunter, or if you're like me, you have 20 acres around you of trees and you want to clear out those trails, it's very nice to have something dedicated that's only used once in a great while. You don't have to pull it out of different areas, but for some of you guys, you're gonna say, why have a dedicated pole saw when I can just buy the attachment and put it on my string trimmer? I wanna know that, because I'm curious. So leave me some comments below. Give me a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.